Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of APG News. Uh, today we want to talk about the emotive issue of Zimbabwe's controversial elections. And this is based on the fact that there are still many who believe that the elections can be rerun, who believe that the SATC, based on the SATC election observer mission, uh, is going to force Zimbabwe into a rerun of the presidential election. And they are saying that the SATC election observer mission declared Zimbabwean elections null and void based on what they term gross um, mismanagement of the 23-24 August poll. So this is what we want to talk about and want to review some of the things uh, which may give us pointers as to whether or not the election is going to be rerun. For starters, did the SAT election observer mission really declare Zimbabwe's elections null and void. Let us listen to the head of that mission, former Zambian Vice President Dr. Nevers Mumba, when he delivered the election report in Harare. For reasons outlined above in this report, the mission noted that some aspects of the harmonized elections fell short of the requirements of the Constitution of Zimbabwe the Electoral Act and the SADC principles and guidelines governing democratic elections of 2021. So this clearly shows that the SEOM did not, in its report, declare the elections in Zimbabwe null and void. They, in fact, said that some aspects of the election did not meet the SADC protocol, did not meet the demands of the Zimbabwean constitution, and did not meet the demands of the Electoral Act. As we all know by now, the mainstream opposition, Triple C, led by advocate Nelson Chamisa, has declared that it is not going to the courts and instead it is going to put pressure on the SADC and the broader AU to force Zimbabwe into fresh, free and fair elections scaffolded by the SADC and the African Union. But is this what the SADC election observer mission advised them to do. Let us listen again to Dr. Mumba as he gave uh, his recommendations as per the SEOM's report. In the event of any electoral disputes, the mission appeals to all contestants to channel their concerns through established legal procedures and processes. But what are those legal procedures and processes? According to the Zimbabwean law, whoever has a grievance based on the way in which the elections were handled has to go to the courts within seven days of the announcement of results and present prima facie case that the, re the election was marked with gross uh, mismanagement which could have affected both the election and the results. But Triple C did not do this. They instead decided to stay away from the courts, arguing that the Zimbabwean courts were captured by ZANU PF and President Emerson Nangakwa. And as a result, President Nangakwa was inaugurated for his second and constitutionally last term, and he has already set up a government. Despite all this, the mainstream opposition is still adamant that the SADC and the African Union are going to force Zimbabwe into a fresh, free and fair election. And they say that President Mnangagwa and his government are illegitimate. But is that hope well-placed or misplaced? One of the key members of the SADC is South Africa, whose president, Cyril Ramaphosa, was one of the few who attended President Emerson Nangakwa's inauguration in Harare. And President Ramaphosa himself gave direction as to what the mainstream opposition in its grievances should do. Uh, the Electoral Commission in Zimbabwe has made a declaration and uh, it is on that basis that we have issued our congratulatory message. Uh, elections are processes that are always either disputed or accepted and when they are disputed, there are always channels in every country to challenge the outcome of the elections and we want that 
has to always be done on a peaceful basis. So, as you can hear, like this SEOM, President Ramaphosa advises the opposition to follow the legal channels. There are always channels in every country to challenge the outcome of the elections, and we want that to always be done on a peaceful basis. So, is there still any chance by which the SATC or the African Union can still force Zimbabwe into holding a fresh election? Let us hear this pointer from President Cyril Ramaphosa in his interview with the South African Broadcasting Corporation. Well, let's get it right. What uh, was said by a representative of the Observer Mission uh, is still got to be discussed in SADC because it's not a final report. And if one looks at that report, it actually says there were challenges, challenges with regard to a number of things that have to do with elections. And nearly every, many countries around the world have such challenges. The United States is you know, a prime example uh, with regard to their last election. So there are challenges, and they have said in the report, as I read it, that certain things need to be improved. They have not declared the election as uh, invalid, unfree, and unfair. They have highlighted certain challenges.